Hey guys, thought I'd make a quick video about my new bike, the uh, 2021 Triumph Trident 660. I just want to share about the um, small bits and accessories that I've got straight from the shop. I got a good discount on it. They gave me about 30-35% discount. I didn't get the luxury accessories. All I've gotten is sort of the safety stuff. The one that's going to protect the bike. I mean, hopefully I don't drop the bike. Touch wood. So some of the few things that I didn't get is the uh, Bluetooth module. I don't think that's quite worth it because when you ride, you don't really want to you know, play around with the devices and things like that, right? It's just you, the bike and the road. I did not get the quick shifter. I think I'll hold it off for now until I hit my first service. I do want to feel the bike uh, as it is, even though the clutch lever is quite hard, but never mind. Oh, the last expensive thing that I did not get is the tire monitoring system, the TM TMS or something. If I'm not mistaken, there's something that you can install here and then you can monitor your tire pressure on the dashboard. I did not get that. I don't think I need it for now. It's quite expensive. Uh, maybe I'll get, it, I'll get it sooner or later. Well, anyway, what is actually on the bike? I got the matching silver ice fly screen. To be honest with you, I don't think it does much in terms of deflecting the wind. It's quite nice in a way that it's quite flushed. As you can see here, there's the headlight. It's the fly screen and it does protect you from debris and insects like that from going into the back side of the you know where the hole would be so the thing itself is a few hundred bucks quite expensive but it does make the bike looks more flushed coming down i think i can just talk about the two things straight away i got the fog protector as well as the um, these nuts that's supposed to protect the brake pads or the the brake system itself from being stolen otherwise it would be just a normal allen key because it's unique to this particular nut itself so you can't just use any random tool to remove it every time you want to change your brake pad you need to make sure that you bring that small thing otherwise they can't do work on your bike and you cannot lose that small hit thing uh, fog protector quite obvious for you to you know to protect the bike in case you fall down um, everything is Triumph branded so everything has that logo on it you pay a premium price for it but I think it looks quite nice everyone is so fit what the hell the other thing that I got is these bar and mirrors um, the bike does have that sort of neo I wouldn't call it neo like the CB 650R but a retro kind of look the bar and mirrors looks very nice on it especially when it has the Triumph logo you know it's first party accessories so it's quite nice they were nice enough to actually do the the thingy here otherwise it would be an empty hole where the original mirrors would go the um, two big things that I got as well are these um, frame sliders as well as this engine guard again similar to the fog protector these are this will protect the main engine of the bike should you fall down but hopefully I will not fall down <laughs> I've been riding for 8 years now, 8 plus years and I don't race, I don't go to the mountains and things like that These are just, you know, something to cover up the engine in case something happens Fox sliders are actually quite nice to be honest, it's not protruding too much as you can see And it has, again, everything is Triumph branded so it looks quite cool The one, the one thing that I was concerned that I might hate is the um, tank protector here So. I thought that looking at the videos and pictures, it looked quite ugly but now that it's on the bike, it looks quite nice. The rectangular nature of it fits the bike quite well so I'm quite happy on it. I think it has grown on me. The last thing, uh, you know, in order for you to work on your bike, you're gonna need this bobby, the, the spools, the bobby pins. You know, if you have a stand at home for you to loop your chain and do some normal maintenance on your bike, you're gonna need this otherwise you can't lift up the bike at all. So again, very simple accessories. Um, I'm looking forward to my first service. Um, we'll see whether I'm going to get that quick shifter at all. I'm quite interested to get the uh, USB charger at least. That's only like a hundred ringgit or two. I might want to consider to get a box, a GV box or a shard box once they release the frame. But unfortunately, they are not available yet. Um, I use the bike to, to go to work every day. I have to carry my bag, my rain suit and things like that. So the bag itself is not enough. There's laptops and, and, and things in it. The shop guys did tell me that when you install a rack and a box, it might make the bike wobbly a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. They said that if you, sh if you really want to get a box, you don't get a, a big box. Just get something small size. Exhaust. I, the only exhaust I know of that is available right now, but you probably can't get it because it's out of stock, is the Zard exhaust. Here in Malaysia, the police really hate you when you, when you change your exhaust, when it's too loud. 
and it's cost like you know I, I think the Zard one cost me like four, four or five thousand ringgit before the installation so we'll see I mean the stock exhaust actually sounds quite nice I don't think you need anything else more than that so that's it guys I uh, will do a first impression of the bike uh, probably before my first service um, I've been enjoying it so far been taking it slow so I'll do another video of my first impressions of the bike but in terms of the accessories and stuff if I get new ones I'll talk about it I'll do another video um, pretty much that's about it the accessories are just for functional sake stay tuned on the next video I will speak more about my first impression on what I think about the bike the good and the bad and yeah I'll see you guys next time <laughs>